So, Dimitri Vegas, thank you so much for coming in to Dance FM this evening or this afternoon. You played yesterday at Tomorrowland. How was that? It was amazing. Yeah. What can I say? I mean, every year I'm blown away. So Your stage presence is insane. Well, thank you. How did you, you know, the left, 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 yeah. right, 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 left. You know, not only would it cause many injuries, no, I'm joking, <laughs> but um, yeah. it's, ama- it's really fun. Like, who yeah. came up with that? Well, it's something we used to do in the old days. I mean, we, I think we, we stopped doing it like it in 2015 because we were bored of it and then last year we decided to bring it back and made a track around it and now it's like bigger than ever so yeah it's recycling amazing. is fun it's so fun <laughs> isn't it everyone's moving around it's great um so favorite artists to collaborate with do you think in the future or someone you've worked with that you'd like to work with again uh, i mean there's the list is so long i think that's always a tricky question because there's no uh easy answer for that it, it all depends on on the kind of song yeah like, mm. i mean if, if we're making like a, an edm song obviously it's not something you would put adele on or jay-z or something <laughs> like and if you make like more of a hip-hop thing you're not gonna put ariana grande <laughs> on that so it, it kind of depends yeah all right so obviously you've been to tomorrowland since 2010 do you have a favorite tomorrowland moment not necessarily just this year but in the the 10 years that you've been doing it well i mean uh, I actually gave the same answer already a couple of times uh, today. Uh, the very first time we played on the main stage was a very special moment for me and my brother because it was the very first time that we had the opportunity to bring our, our parents and our grandparents <clears throat> who up until that time uh, heard like, okay, the boys, they're DJing. I, I don't really know what that is. They, they don't have a day job. They just sit around in the house all day. They're probably smoking. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing and then we got to invite them here and just blow them away wow. on this amazing stage and it sort of I mean it's small but for us it was big yeah. also apart from it being the biggest performance that we ever did but it sort of validated what we did towards our parents and grandparents yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was a I, very special I absolutely moment. love that that they turned around and said get a real job <laughs> <laughs> you're like listen yeah. tell me your grandparents did the left left right right uh, they probably did. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, they, they've been going to Tomorrowland for about 10 years and they're like 83 now. So oh, they're, wow. They're probably the oldest visitors of the festival. Yeah. But they visit us in Ibiza. They're, they they go all over the world with us. That's awesome, dude. So again, Tomorrowland, you've been here a long time. The first time you played, you actually did an anthem. And have you done that, an anthem every year since then? Uh, we've done it up until like three or four years ago. Yeah. And then we sort of decided that, yeah, it... it we just moved on from okay. it because now we just sort of this year we dropped an EP with uh, seven anthems. Yeah, well so, we were we were looking at that. So we we just kind of felt like uh, together with the festival that it wasn't necessarily uh, best for the track because then it's also it's stuck to a certain timepiece and and yeah. it's, it's just better to curate a whole lot of music for the yeah. festival than just one song. I like how the EP also was for free download for everyone, yeah. which is kind of just uh, joins in with the magical experience of Tomorrowland. I think exactly. exactly. And 100, 185,000 people come here every year. It is massive. I love the theme this year. I feel like you are a bit of a veteran. How is it going to get better, do you think, going forward? Well, that's a question I ask myself every year. And every year, the guys, they succeed in pushing it to the next level. So I'm more than convinced that next year is going to be bigger and better even. Amazing. Plus, we're bringing it to to Sports Palace at the end of the year. Oh, yeah. Because we do our solo concerts. And we sort of translate the party that we do together with Tomorrowland in Ibiza. Because mm. we have the Garden of Madness yep. in Ushuaia every yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. We're bringing that to Antwerp in December for uh, yeah for eighty thousand people, and wow. it's going to be the biggest indoor stage people have ever seen. So Very it's going to cool. be like uh, indoor Tomorrowland. Awesome. Uh, just final question. So uh, we looked at your Instagram story. You found someone's phone. Can you no, tell us about no, that? No, they found my phone. They found sorry. <laughs> they found your phone. No, actually, we have some some Mexican friends over here. Okay. And uh, I forgot my phone in the backstage, <laughs> and they thought it was hilarious to take my phone and just go nuts with it. So yeah. amazing. And you put them all on your stories. I love yeah, it. Yeah. So very uh, cool. They're all well played. So I just left <laughs> the stories on there. They're still there for a couple of hours. I have one so. last question for you. Of course. Dubai, Are you coming back? Yeah, we would love to. Tell us. I love Dubai. I'm, I'm convincing my brother to, to, to also spend like a holiday there because I've been there a couple of times and I've, I've always had an amazing yeah. time. Uh, so yeah, it'll happen. Amazing. Perfect. Good. Thank you so much. Let's Thank play you. some VR. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>